everybody and welcome to the Arkansas Weather Blog. We are your ticket to big weather events. I have been off work, taking some time off. Can you tell? I don't shave when I... That is gray. Yes, that is gray. I don't shave when I'm off work when I'm taking vacation time. It's back to work tomorrow. Looking at the weather pattern and how things are going. By the way, I had a great time off. Went fishing with a lot of my weather friends and uh, weather geek friends. And uh, Weather Ninja was included. And once again, he really need to work on his fishing technique. Um, really concerned about that. Um, the thing that we're going to talk about here on the Arkansas Weather Blog is an update to this icing situation uh, coming in Thursday and Thursday night. Now, this really comes in two stages. The first one is tonight with the Arctic air. And I really think most of that should be just plain rain and, and, and probably not much, if any. I don't think it's going to be much at all. If there's any freezing rain or light freezing rain or drizzle, I think it's northern Arkansas. We'll see how that plays out. Uh, Thursday will be a much colder day with temperatures struggling to get out of the 30s. It may actually drop for much of the day because you know what happens with low-level Arctic air. Didn't we learn our lesson with the Christmas storm and every storm that deals with Arctic air? Now, I want to stress, this is not the Christmas storm. I want to say that one more time. This is not the Christmas, sto uh, Christmas Day storm whatsoever. Anything that falls will be light. But the thing is, what I'm trying to say is the lesson learned from that is the fact that low-level Arctic air is never seen well by the models. It's cold and it's dry, and you get those two, it's colder than normal, or colder than what the models usually show, and then you get that, the, the, the dry nature to that air as well, and what happens is you get, if you get precipitation, if you get precipitation, you have evaporative cooling, and that lowers the temperature even further. Uh, and it's just like a, a vapor to cooling is just like when you walk outside on a hot summer day, uh, you go outside and you're sweating. And then you come inside where the humidity level is low and it's cooler, and you get that cooling effect. Your body's cool that, that, because that, that moisture on your skin is evaporating. That's evaporative cooling, and it lowers the temperature. So that's a kind of a way to look at that and explain it. So, again, low-level Arctic air is never seen right by the models. Now, the European, which I think has done the best job. There's three models I want to discuss. The European has done the best job this, uh, this winter, in my opinion. It really has done a great job, uh, both in the short and medium range. Not so much in the long range, but short, medium range. I, can't, I don't have much of the way of arguing. I'm sure it's been off here and there. The GFS has done a, a, a very good job as well. That's the American model. The NAM has been horrible. Uh, but one of these days, it's going to be right. And the NAM, the North American model, should, on these situations, once you get close, close in, should have a better idea as to what's going on because its resolution is very high. It, uh, and it usually does a fairly decent job. And the NAM is what penetrates that Arctic air further towards the south uh, the last couple of runs. Uh, where the GFS and Euro, I mean, we all get the Arctic air, but I'm talking about the sub-freezing air. The NAM pushes it further towards the south, but the Euro and the GFS keeps it a little bit further towards the north, and it's mainly affecting northern Arkansas. Maybe there will be a compromise between all that and somewhere in between. So just to let you know that anything that falls will be very light. We're looking at tomorrow morning, Thursday morning, light rain, maybe a little drizzle, a break, and then a wave of low pressure comes across tomorrow night, uh, Thursday night into Friday morning, and that's the time period I think of greatest concern, especially for northern Arkansas. How far south would that get? It is just so tough to say right now. I've got a little video that shows you the European models, since that has been the guru of models lately. But just know that the NAM does show this going further south, which is unusual because the NAM has been so far north with everything uh, over the past uh, several winter weather events. I have talked way too much, almost five minutes now, according to the clock. Yes, it's gray. It will be shaved tonight in case the bosses are watching. By the way, one other thing, I will be judging the chili cook-off a uh, week from Friday, February the 1st at, uh, I know I'm talking too much, Friday, February 1st at Catholic High. Uh, it's to benefit the school, their renovation, the capital project there. With their, uh, the, the school's old. 
Uh, and you know, I went to school there, and so I'm very happy. And, and I jumped at the opportunity to, to do it uh, to do this. I'm I'm an alum, and and, and it, you know, the school's old. When I went there, it did not have air conditioning, and Father Tribu refused to have air conditioning except for his office. Uh, but uh, and what a great man he was. But um, you know, things have changed uh, in the technology world, where a requirement now to make it, uh, in, you know, to get a to get a very good education, which Catholic High provides, requires technology and computers laptops, everything. And if you don't air condition and keep those rooms cool, uh, things go bad. So that, it, you know, I understand the need for that. And, and the school is undergoing a lot of other improvements and, and it's one of the best educations in Arkansas. So I'm happy to participate and be a judge. And, and you know how much I feel bad about beans and chili? I will make this an exception for Catholic High. Here's the video. Okay, so I'm going to show you the European model here, and what you're looking at uh, is this dark blue line, and we need to keep an eye on that. That's your 32 degree line. This is 35, the lighter blue. Not quite sure why they show 35, but okay. Here's the 32 degree line again, uh, and let's take you through this. Um, this is valid Thursday morning uh, at 6 a.m., and look how far north that 32 degree line is. Frontal boundary is coming through. And we're getting some cloud. This is denoting cloud cover, drizzle, a little light rain here and there. I'm not really thinking that that's going to be of any uh, big significance. But it pushes off towards the southwest. And this model here keeps some pockets of 32 degree air. This is tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening at 6 p.m. Any rain would be confined primarily to western and uh, southwestern to so southern and southeastern Arkansas on this corridor here. Uh, but then a wave of low pressure out here starts to develop and it scoots across the area. And this is, let's see here, 36 hours out. And and look what happens. This is midnight on Friday. Uh, you see this pocket of 32 degrees or colder? This is the European. And, and again, this model has been really good this winter. Uh, and, and the NAM shows a much larger chunk below freezing. And it's been really bad. But one of these days, that NAM is going to be right. We're going to regret it. Uh, I mean, I, it's a good model. It usually is. High, high resolution, especially in the short range. It uh, does better. And, but that's, that's where we're looking at some light freezing rain possibilities. And then look at that. This is at 6 a.m. on Friday, and that continues, again, in far northern Arkansas, where it's 32 degrees or colder in this area of north-central Arkansas, maybe as far south as Clinton. It looks like through northern parts of Pope County, P-O-P-E, Johnson and Franklin County, and on up uh, towards uh, far northeastern Arkansas. But according to the European, we're just dealing with light rain. But I caution you once again, it's, uh, you're dealing with low-level Arctic air, and the miles just sometimes don't handle it all that well. And then it moves out. So whatever falls, I'll take you through this again, whatever falls is very light. And that's where we have the possibility of frozen precipitation, uh, on, on Friday night, around midnight, and into Friday morning. According to the Euro, the concern is northern Arkansas. According to the NAM, it's further south. Where does that front stall out? How far south did the sub-freezing air penetrate into southern Arkansas towards that area of the state? Does it? And uh, how much precipitation? But again, this is the area I would be most concerned about right in here. Uh, and, and the other thing is, a lot of times when you get this northeasterly wind advecting in, uh, this corridor down the 67-167 corridor, 67-167 uh, corridor, the models underestimate the, temp uh, the temperature, and it's a lot colder in this area. And, and you end up getting something like this with the freezing line. Something like that. That's what typically happens. But we'll see how this plays out, and I'll keep you updated, of course, here on uh, the Arkansas Weather Blog. And keep, uh, I'll keep you updated on Facebook and uh, on Twitter. And thank you very much for coming to the Arkansas Weather Blog. We are your ticket to big weather events.